Welcome to Red35 and today we are looking at definitely one of the classic lenses in modern Olympus era, the 12mm f2. This 12mm is actually one of the most popular prime lenses in the Olympus lineup and that's a good reason for it. Well first it's a 12mm so in full frame it's 24mm equivalent which is kind of like a quite a versatile uh, wide angle for different kind of purposes. You know for, I mean, for a start you can do it for uh, street photography for it, you can do landscape photography for it and you can also do a little bit of interior architectural thing so it is quite a versatile focal length in that regard before this lens came about there weren't many very serious lenses for serious photographer in the Michael Fourth world and all they had was the you know the plastic kit lenses that came with the cameras uh, like the 3.5 to 5.6 or even the 6.3 zoom lenses uh, but that's all changed in 2011 when Olympus introduced the 12 millimeters prime and it certainly changed the whole perceptions of premium or professional uh, users in the Michael Fourth third platform At the beginning of the premium lenses they were all silver and as an experiment Olympus did a limited run of black versions of the 12 which called the limited black edition which sold out in a matter of weeks and I'm lucky that I have one right here This is a premium lens, so it's certainly built to a premium standard by Olympus. And as you know from all our previous videos that I usually have no complaints about the build quality of any Olympus gears anyway, and this is no exception. There's no wobbles, there's no horrible noise when you shake the lens and it feels good. All metal built, no weather seal because it's a premium lens, not a professional lens. So it's actually very good and I do actually like the the metal hood that come uh, doesn't come with this uh, you have it's optional but once you put into it it certainly looks very sexy um, but let me remove the hood for you guys so you can actually have a look at it one thing I do like about this lens also is how small it is so that comes to the handling side of it because you know it's tiny and this is the whole kind of the uh, how people perceive Michael Forther and how Olympus and Panasonic, you know, they actually think about Michael Forther as a platform in general to start with. You know, it's supposed to be small and light and something that you can actually uh, compare with the bigger system like, like full frame or APS-C uh, platform. So if you look at this, this is just tiny compared, you know, to any other bigger system and it does actually remind me or something that I used to shoot with. So this is what I'm talking about. You know, this is my Leica M with the 35 Summilux. And kind of one of my most used street tools for the last few years. And here's my Pen F and the 12 millimeters prime you can kind of see the similarity between the two and, and how i actually like using the pen f ever since it came out with the 12 of course and it certainly has that very similar kind of handling and feel to it even though this is obviously technically it's not a rangefinder camera so i'm not reviewing if you haven't seen our pen f review click the link up here you know we have done a review on this camera actually i have this lens on as well but i'm talking about the lens itself but 
in terms of feeling of ice, you know, this is very, very close in terms of operation and handling, very similar to the uh, Leica uh, Summicron lenses because the size is very similar to it, the handling and actually the, the smoothness of the focusing ring is very close to it, good resistance. So I, I actually genuinely love using this lens for street because even though it's slightly wider than the normal 35mm that I use on my Leica, but you know, 24 is still okay, you know, I just have to get a little bit closer. Uh, but other than that, I really genuinely love this using this lens. What about the image quality of the 12mm Prime? And I can tell you that, you know, if you haven't shot a Prime before, if you're using kit lenses before, this lens will blow you away. Uh, in terms of image quality, I think my concern, my only concern is shooting at f2 because there is a little bit of softness towards the edges of the frame and if you place a subject right in the middle, let's say if you do a uh, street portrait close up, you want a little bit of uh, separation shooting f2, you won't notice that much because you know the background will be slightly out of focus but if you're shooting at landscape uh, cityscape if you want to get a whole scene at low light shooting f2 you will see a little bit of coma and a little bit of softness towards the edge of the frame but stopping down to f2.8 to 3.5 no problem at all you know it's really sharp this lens has high resolving power as well, which is really, really good. So when you stop it down, you get a lot of detail. So it's perfect for landscape as well. And street shot, if you stop it down, pretty good. So how would I rate this lens? Well, being a 2011, so it's been, what, seven years old now? It's a little bit old, uh, maybe due for an update. I, and I wonder whether Olympus would actually bring out a pro series of this focal length, like could be a 12mm 1.2 or 1.4 Pro. I'm quite curious, but as it stands, being a F2, ever 12mm Prime, I think it's still very good, you know, and uh, there's one concern about the, you know, shooting at F2, about the softness at the edges. Apart from that, you know, this is a brilliant lens and it's a very, very good street photography lens because it's compact, very small, very discreet. So, you know, plunging it onto an EM5 Mark II body or the Pen F, it certainly looks the part. In terms of sex appeal, I think it it's not far behind from, from being a Leica. You know, it's really a good lens on its own and I do genuinely love it. Well, if you liked the video you just saw, remember to do this and subscribe to your channel if you haven't already done so. And don't forget to turn on your notifications so you know when the new video is coming out. Until next time, see you then. Bye. Olympus introduced this 12mm Prime that literally changed the entire perceptions of uh, professional photography. No, perception? No, not perception. And it's built like a tank. Okay. Uh, not here. You can't compare with the latest 70mm. Uh, well, if you like the video that you just saw, remember to do this, subscribe our channel, blah, 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 subscribe to our channel. Okay, one, two, three, ready?